first time in Turin and you don't know what to see, keep on watching and I'll show you which are the most beautiful things that will make your visit unforgettable. Hi, I'm Elisabetta, co-founder of Enjoy Piedmont and professional tour guide. With me, you will discover all the marvelous things to see in Turin. We're now in Piazza Castello, Castle Square, the main square of the city. In here, you will find all the history of the city of Turin. The square was built back in the end of the 16th century, beginning of the 17th, in the late Manierist style, and its uniformity is still kept today. Behind me, the marvelous gate in the neoclassical style to separate Castle Square from the Royal Square. To guard the entrance, the two Dioscuri on the top. At the back, the Royal Palace. The palace that was the residence of the Savoy family since when they moved here in 1563 till 1946, when the people of Italy decided for the Republic. If I tell you that here we are in front of a church, you don't believe me because there's no facade, but if you look up, you will notice the dome of this church. The church is the real church of St. Lawrence and it's dedicated to St. Lawrence and it was commissioned by the royal family. The internal of the church is wonderful. It's the typical Baroque style. Look up at the marvelous dome. It's made by 16 crossed bands that create a star. And there are these Serliana windows that take all the light in, so there's no more need of other windows. The architect of this church was Guarino Guarini and the design started in 1666 and the church was finished in 1680. Castle Square, why? Because of course we have a castle in the center. This castle is a medieval castle and dates back to the 13th, 15th century. But the particularity that we just have in Turin is that this castle becomes a palace. In fact, the facade that you see here was designed by Filippo Juvarra at the beginning of the 18th century for the royal madam, the second royal madam. In fact, there were two royal madam in Turin. They were both duchesses who became widows and regent for their kids who were too young to govern. Therefore, they didn't want to stay in the Duke's palace and they wanted to have this castle restored and transformed into a palace. And that's why this palace is now called Palazzo Madama. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will see all the other videos about beautiful Turin and Piedmont. Enjoy Piedmont!